Warm down. <laughs> Warm down. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> he played jump rope. <laughs> Donations are always need bedding, uh, canned vegetables, and, and uh, you know, but I think towels, washcloths, sheets, what they know, all oh, bedding. We don't take pillows, and of course we don't take in rugs. Um, but all kinds of, of linen is always needed, and then we also need, you know, paper towels and Clorox cleanup and simple grease. Gloves. We use Tide with bleach. We use Clorox like you wouldn't believe. Exam gloves, we always oh. need those. Um, these are the things that we're always using. And of course, the canned vegetables is always needed too. What about cash? Well, donations to cover the cost of the expenses for uh, the animals' welfare and care. Uh, they're always increasing. Um, we, we have uh, supporters, but the people we depended on yesterday, we can't always depend on today. And the people we depended on yesterday and today, we might not be able tomorrow. So that is always changing. Matt Robert there and her brother, they were found in a park and the people were like, these aren't wild rabbits, so someone must have let them go. Is that the only uh, coat of Monday that you have right now? Uh, oh, there's another one. Yeah, this is yeah. Cody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there anything for Cody? Cody, come in here first. He's a little bit overweight than the rest <laughs> of them. They'll stay here. They were illegal pets. She eats it with her fingernails, like a fork, hmm. except for food. But they live like 15 years, and she's getting up there already. Right. They like their pasta chicken. And I always remember her mother's name because my best friend's name was Becky. Becky, Betsy. She... We're very blessed. Keep in mind, everybody we meet, they come here and they love animals too. I don't meet people that don't love animals. And I have directors and volunteers that are constantly reminding me, Colleen, people don't know you need help unless you ask for it. Put your hand out and say, Friskies need your help too. And, and I just want to leave you with that. We, we do need your help and your support. And educating the public and bringing in the donations and covering the overhead costs of, of the utilities and the vet needs and the species-specific diets. There's a lot of diets that Joe Blow Public cannot buy for us that we have to order specialty diets. Keep in mind, we can't say it's gonna be pizza night for everybody. Species-specific diets are needed. Species-specific beddings are needed. We need different beddings for, for hamsters. We need different beddings for chinchillas, different beddings for turtles, different beddings for monkeys. Uh, the, the hawks and the owls, everything needs something different. So we always try to get that people know, to realize that, that, you know, yes, 
We need your support. We need you as volunteers. We need you to educate other people. We want that, we want that to be out there. It's very, very important for Friskies to continue. He's a mover and a shaker. <laughs> Let me see what I'm holding him. He's trying to walk. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, yeah. You guys smile, show us your teeth. Oh, hi. It's nap time right now. We're waking you up. <laughs> but they this run around Alice. at night. Oh, yeah, during the day, she she's the only one that looks like she has the most fun. Any of these organizations that are out there, we're set up with them. And your donations are, are appreciated and, all, you know, of course, are, are honestly spent. Nobody here is paid. We're all volunteers. Nobody here is paid. And as a master wildlife rehabilitator, you have to live on your organization. So we're here all the time, giving and doing. And we want to be here. We all decided this is what we want to do, and we're all here. So keeping that, you know, that your, your support is needed, your volunteering is needed, uh, your, your outreach is needed for education. If you can adopt an animal, if you don't have species-specific experience and you want to adopt a cockatoo and you have a house, come volunteer. We'll teach you how to take care of it.